Are you tired? Ella and Lucy Hammerstrand spent their Easter Sunday surrounded by family along the banks of the St. Croix River. Alongside them for the entire day was Gus. Oh, he's just tucked in here now. Their grandparents beloved six-year-old Golden Doodle. He's very friendly and he's very smart and he's very loving. They were outside helping with some chores when Gus jumped in the water, swimming out about 50 feet. Gus all of a sudden was wading in the water and it was really cold that day. So we were like, Gus, what are you doing? Gus's humans were confused. It was absolutely freezing out and they didn't know if Gus could swim anymore. He had his leg amputated in February and was diagnosed with cancer. We thought he had a knee injury, perhaps from a fall on the ice. And so we were just looking to have that repaired. A groomer discovered the tumor on one of Gus's bones. He's currently receiving chemotherapy at the University of Minnesota Vet Hospital. But the loss of one leg hasn't slowed him down. He does just great on three legs. He runs as fast as he ever did. And as his family learned that day, he swims just as well with three legs too. When he emerged from the water, he was not alone. First time swimming with three legs. And he comes out of the water with an otter in his mouth. I held him for a little bit while they tried to find the mom, but he couldn't. They wrapped up the pup and rushed to the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center in Roseville. He was so cute and his eyes weren't even open yet. WRC staff estimates the pup is right around a week old, far too young to be swimming alone. Otter pups typically stay with their moms for the entire first year of their lives. The baby otter has since been transferred to another rehab facility with the specific pools needed to raise a pup. As for Gus, he's been enjoying a lot of pets and a lot of bones. I think he knew the otter was hurting, something was wrong. A very good boy indeed. Reporting in St. Mary's Point, Mary McGuire, Fox 9.